Good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to show you something that should come across as very useful to many of you guys out there listening and watching this tutorial. Now it's an automatic. Yes guys, yet another automatic fade in fade out picture gallery. But this gallery will uh, halt on a mouse over and resume to play on a mouse out. But guys trust me, it's when you use the concept of fade in and fade out along with the stop on mouse over uh, you know uh, and uh, resume playing after you mouse out wasn't so simple anyway so let me uh, start and show you how this was actually done <coughs> cool so I'm gonna click on the create new action script 3 file and then uh, let me save it that's the first thing okay so I'm gonna call it picture gallery cool and let me save it on the desktop in a folder called uh, new folder cool so guys I'll, I'll be using action script 3 and uh, I'm also using flash cs 5.5 professional cool let me get in the three pictures that I'll be using for this project so import import stage and uh, the pictures have already been resized to match the size of the stage guys so they are 550 by 400 let me click on the very first picture what happened uh -uh. now this may happen sometimes guys this may happen sometimes let me get in a, another set of picture that's okay mm. so impose stage let me go with the some other picture mm. yep so basically uh, I could get in two pictures guys only two pictures and uh, as far as the third picture is concerned let me create um, on the third frame see uh, let me get in the, th the third picture as well alright I think I'll need to pause the video get a third picture ready guys so just hang on okay guys um, I have my third picture ready with me now let me import that too so on the third frame guys on the very first and the very second frame we have two pictures already on the third frame I'm gonna say F7 and then let me get in the picture so import import a stage and uh, look for the picture which is this one okay so cool guys I have uh, three frames and three pictures very very cool very nice and uh, guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to each picture and convert them to movie clips by pressing F8 and uh, I'll keep the registration point top left make sure it's a movie clip guys I'm gonna say okay I'm gonna move to the second frame second picture it's a bitmap uh, image guys I'm gonna press F8 on my keyboard registration point top left making sure it's a movie clip guys I'm gonna say okay and then I'll move to the third picture I'll select it I'll press F8 I'll make sure that the registration point is top left make sure it's a movie clip guys I'm gonna say okay so now all the three pictures bitmap uh, images are now actually movie clips very very cool all right then guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the very first picture double click go inside I'm in the edit mode guys I'm gonna right click I'm gonna say create motion tween ignore the message that comes up say okay I'll get 24 frames I'll extend that to 72 okay I'll come back to 24 and rather I'll come back to 48 uh, and then I'll press F6 dropping in a keyframe out there okay I'll select the picture I'll select the style draw, go down to alpha and uh, I'll make sure that the alpha is set to a full hundred I'll go back to the very first frame guys I'll set it to 40 so in the edit mode the first frame is 40 the 48th frame is a hundred and then it's a hundred throughout so basically what I've done is through the motion tween I've passed in a very nice uh, fade in effect over three seconds three seconds is equal to 72 frames guys cool I'm gonna sh make sure I insert one more layer guys I'll be on the 72nd 
keyframe. I'm going to press uh, F7 to insert a blank keyframe. So, okay. Then I'm going to right click and open up the actions panel. Then I'm going to say stop parent parent semicolon. Cool. Okay, so on the uh, 70 second frame, I have uh, made sure that it actually comes to a halt. Cool. Uh, let me go back in the edit mode and then on the you know on the layer number one I'm gonna right click I'm gonna say copy motion wait a sec right click I'm gonna say copy motion copy motion yeah there it is I'm sorry took me a lot of time to figure out how to get that option so that's a copy motion guys and then I'm gonna go back to the main timeline I'm gonna select the second picture I'm gonna right click go inside the symbol I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say paste motion I'll ignore the warning say OK I'll create one more layer I'll be on the second uh, 72nd frame I'm gonna press F7 to insert a blank keyframe right click go inside actions I'm gonna say stop parent parent semicolon cool let me go out to the main timeline I'll repeat the process with the third symbol, the third picture guys. Uh, I want to double click, go inside the edit mode. I'm going to right click on the picture, I'm going to say paste motion. Ignore the warning, say OK. Alright, <coughs> insert one more layer. Make sure I'm on the sec 70 second frame, insert F7 to, you know, insert a blank, blank keyframe, right click, go inside action, say stop, put in, put in semicolon cool let me go back so guys what I've done is for all the three pictures which have been converted to symbols movie clips I've gone inside them and inside I've placed 72 frames and thus giving them a nice fade in effect and on the 72nd frame I've uh, placed some action script all that action script says is one single statement which says stop parent parent semicolon make sure that the playhead freezes on the 70 second frame cool let me go back okay guys now what I'll do is this layer which is layer 1 I'm gonna call it fix because all the three pictures are there okay I'm gonna create one more layer on the very first frame guys I'm gonna create some action scripts I'll call layer 2 AS3 cool I'll be on the very first frame of the S3 layer, right click say actions, go inside and write some action. Okay. Let me start off with a timer function. But before that guys I would need to put stop parent parent semicolon. Wouldn't want the playhead to run from the first to the second, second to the third frame in a frenzy. So a stop parent parent semicolon. Let me create a variable my timer of the type timer is equal to new timer okay and let me make sure that the timer advances every two seconds that's 2000 milliseconds right then I'm gonna say my timer dot add event listener timer event dot timer and the function timer handler cool let me define the function timer handler okay so that's event colon timer event you need to pass the event inside the parents guys that's the format so it's a colon void since this uh, function does not calculate return a value okay and inside the function I'm gonna say if I'm gonna use an if conditional guys so if current count now is equal to is equal to 3 basically uh, when the fir the first time the timer fires that's current count ca uh, for uh, 1 the second time it fires that's current count 2 and the third time it fires that's current count 3 for the timer guys okay so if uh, it's actually my timer dot current count is equal to is equal to 3 that means if uh, the timer has already fired 3 times then I would want my timer to stop that's the first thing so my timer not stop and then I would want uh, see it to go to the very first uh, 
frame and uh, you know start again uh, you'll soon see what I mean so I'm gonna say go to and play one go back to the very first frame okay else do this which is next frame basically I'm telling flash that after every two seconds please go to the next frame but if the current frame or rather the current count is three which will happen on the very last picture please stop the timer go to the very first frame and once it goes to the very first frame guys it will play the timer all over again okay and uh, I needed to stop the timer on the third picture because I, I was sure it will go on the very first picture or the very first frame it will fire off the timer again if I don't stop the timer it every time it reaches the first picture the first frame it'll keep on firing the timer again and again and again and it'll be madness so I need to stop the timer before it can actually go back to the very first frame restart the timer I need to stop the timer okay cool so and I in the end I need to start the timer so I'm gonna say start <coughs> rather my timer dot start put in put in some equivalent okay let me see if everything is fine yes it is let me test so control and on the key on the keyboard guys exporting the swift so guys uh, actually after the image fades in uh, nicely I don't get to see the picture at all what I need to do is I need to change this 2000 to a 3000 now that's fine let me test now right cool this is the third picture loops back to the very uh, first picture very nicely very easily guys so it's a fade in uh, fade in picture gallery guys which uh, automatically increments to the next uh, frame after three seconds or three thousand milliseconds very very cool now guys I was set out to make a picture gallery that would also stop on a mouse over and restart on uh, a mouse out so basically a pause and a resume I need to get those functions how will I do that that's not at all difficult guys let me show it to you how okay I'm gonna say stage dot add event listener okay and it's gonna be a it's gonna be a mouse event dot mouse move I'm gonna create a mouse move so see for the mouse to move on the stage it has to be over the mouse uh, over the stage and that's as good as saying um, mouse over but guys let me tell you mouse over does not work on the stage so I had to use an alternative and mouse move was the best alternative mouse move is as good as saying mouse on the stage okay so so I'm gonna say the name of the function should be pause slideshow okay right and then I need to define the function pause slideshow cool let me copy and paste out here I'm gonna say event colon uh, mouse event right colon void because this function does not calculate return a value and then all I need to do is I need to stop the timer so I'll need to copy this out here okay instead of saying start I'll say stop my timer dot stop okay let me test control enter okay that's the first picture fading in nicely here comes the in fact I accidentally went on the stage I'm sure because it has stopped let me test again okay that's the very first picture that's the second picture let me mouse over guys and as you can see it has uh, come to a halt okay but if I go off the picture it will not start again so I'll do that very easily I'm gonna copy this bit okay I'm gonna come down I'm gonna paste it out here and instead of mouse move I'm gonna change it to a mouse leave okay now mouse leave is not a mouse event guys it's just an event so this becomes an event this becomes an event as well pause slideshow becomes a restart slideshow cool let me copy this let me paste it out here 
and this stop becomes a start. So I'll start the timer all over again. Okay. So both the events are attached to the stage guys. In one instance it's a mouse move, in the other one it's a mouse leave. So whenever the mouse actually leaves the stage is when the slideshow should be restarted. Okay. So that'll be restarted uh, once you restart the timer. All right. So control enter to test guys. That's the first picture. That's the second one. <coughs> That's the third one. I'll loop back to the very first one guys. Let me go over. I'm on the picture now. It has come to a halt. If I go off it should restart the timer and everything should be the Right guys. Uh, guys there was a technical glitch and everything collapsed. My uh, flash had actually crashed. I have uh, restarted it and guys as you can see I'm on the picture right now. It has come to a halt and I'm uh, going to go off now. Okay and it should resume playing in a minute okay I'm gonna go back in again it's come to a halt okay and uh, I'm gonna go off now off the stage and you should see that will start again come on yeah so uh, auto advancing picture gallery that goes to the next frame after every three seconds guys and stops when you take the mouse over and it starts to run uh, again the way it used to just like before if you mouse out cool so guys uh, I hope you like this tutorial hope you learned something from it but just before I sign off let me reiterate everything okay so what we had done was let me go back to the timeline we had created three pictures okay then what I did was I created all of them into movie clips by pressing F8 on my keyboard I went inside in the edit mode I created 72 frames the picture fades in uh, nicely over the first 48 frames and uh, over the next uh, one second it stays put on the last frame second 70 second frame on a new layer guys I had created a stop function right okay I repeated the process with all the three pictures and then I started to write action script on a new AS3 layer okay where I actually made sure that I start off with the stop function I created a timer which fires off every three seconds and I checked if the current count of the timer was three if it was I stopped the timer I made sure that the playhead goes back to the very first frame it plays again uh, otherwise if it was not the if the current count was not three I made sure that it should go to the next frame okay here I've started the timer guys every time you create a timer you need to start it and uh, on the stage I've added two events guys one is a mouse move the other one is a mouse leave the mouse move uh, acts just like a mouse over and the mouse leave acts just like uh, the mouse out okay I've attached both of them to the stage and in uh, a mouse move I've uh, used in conjunction with the uh, my time at a stop mouse loop uh, you know leave I've um, combined with the my time at a start so that helps to stop and start the slideshow all right guys I'll see you very soon with yet another flash and action script 3 tutorial have a good day bye bye peace